So this is the gift watch I got from Fashion by Francesca, the website, uh, the Romanian website from which I got my Orion automatic watch and this was a gift. Uh, bear in mind, uh, beggars cannot be choosers, so I'm just showing you the review of the watch or whatever I can find about it, and this by no means equates to a critique on the seller itself, for which I am gladly uh, throwing out a, a, a shout out, even though I'm not affiliated in any way by with them. Um, the watch itself is well, it's supposed to mimic something solid and really premium feeling, but it's so light that you cannot really take it serious. There's an adjustment, but typical of quartz watches, it goes one way or the other. It's not much in terms of adjustment. Let's get a closer look on uh, on the table and see if we can get some more info on this thing. So this is the Bennett Casual B008 model um, and I don't know what it is. It's not a Chinese knockoff per se, but it's an obscure and uh, no name uh, watch. So no information on, about the model itself or the, or the brand really. This is the front, it's supposed to mimic some, it has some gold accents which supposed are supposed to show some sort of fake mechanism. Uh, interestingly enough, the material choice is silicon for the strap, uh, some sort of metal alloy for the uh, crown and the chassis and really mineral um, crystal, I believe. Let me just check to see if I got this thing right. Um, yeah, mineral crystal for the, um, the, well, for the crystal, the display itself, which is sort of weird because it feels very, very flimsy. I, I almost thought it was plastic because it's so light, but well, hey, I guess it's good news. It's crystal or at least glass. Uh, this is the back. It's rather teeny and uh, unimpressive, uninspiring. Let me see if I can get your you a uh, correct shot of it uh, without blinding you in the process. So yeah, it's made in China and really um, it says stainless steel. Naturally, uh, this is a um, quartz mechanism, but it's a rather disgusting one and why I'm what I mean by that is have a listen I don't know it's something about that uh, sound that really is just it's taking taking me back to uh, a place when uh, a place in time when uh, low quality products were roaming Romanian streets if that makes any sense i used to have a quartz watch in my room when i was a child in school and that just that just annoyed the heck out of me so this is the same thing right here the strap itself, I was hoping it would be compatible with one of my smartwatches, though it's not the type which has a quick release, like in the Huawei GT2 Pro here, so I cannot use it. But hey, as a gift, I don't know, I think it works. It even has a special pillow for <laughs> resting this thing on, on it. But anyway, this is the Bennett B008 watch, um, gift watch that is. Is it a collectible item? No, not really. It's, it's rubbish. Sorry to say, sad to say though. Uh, it's a nice gesture from the seller, but it's simply not worth your time as as it were uh will it be something worth uh keeping well i don't know in 50 years time i believe it will be worth about the same amount of money as it is now 
and that's 18 euros equivalent on the seller's site. So would I recommend this? No, not even for 5 euros. Since I got it for free, I will appreciate it for what it is and maybe hold it as, I don't know, a sort of quirky prop somewhere near my um, vintage camera. But really, I don't think it's worth your effort. The, then again, I don't really think anybody has ever heard or seen one of these since it's such an obscure um, unknown brand really it is just a watch made in China so I don't know if you found this mildly entertaining or informative but remember I buy collect and hoard quirky useless obsolete tech stuff like this one so you don't have to thank you for watching bye bye